What's going on guys? This is Riggs and welcome back to their PUBG Mobile video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about why Kerrigan sucks. And I already know there's at least one person that's going to watch this video and that's going to be in the comment section talking about Riggs. That's my favorite map. What are you talking about? You're absolutely crazy. Kerrigan is lit. Now I understand why they put the map in the game, which I'm going to break down. We're going to break down everything according to me, because it's my channel what is wrong with the map okay and at, and we're not just going to complain in this video at the very end we're going to uh, quickly discuss what PUBG can do in order to fix it so it gets more play time uh, again if you agree with any of the points that I make in this video of course make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like all right so here we go like I said I understand why they made the map they wanted to do something new they wanted to incorporate some new weapons that match the theme uh, as it, it, it does take place in a Middle East setting uh, you know the tunnels the holes in the walls the, you know the whole shebang I get it and uh, despite what I mean so many people say this and it's straight up an insult to Miramar Karakin is not a small version of Miramar so next time you hear someone say that um, quickly correct them and maybe you can share this video for them it is not Miramar it does not play like Miramar it does it there's no, nothing nothing about Karakin resembles Miramar other than the dirt on the ground that's pretty much it okay so let's quickly talk about everything that's wrong with the map before we get into how to fix it number one is scopes I'm sorry nobody wants to play a map with only 3x scopes on it but rigs they're also available in the airdrops and in the tunnels in the center of the map you know where nobody goes uh, and, and with the airdrops I would say one in every 30 airdrops because um, I've been doing the testing you know with my, with my boy Lord, uh, Lord Black the airdrops hardly ever have any scopes in them ever you'll have an arm um, and you got a 3x on it it's just nobody wants to play a map that limits you in scopes like uh, Karakin does none of the other maps do it now there might be RNG involved in the other maps where you know certain areas you might have a better chance of getting a scope but there is no limitation on the size of scopes you can get other than Karakin and it is awful nobody wants to play a map like that and real quick, we'll have to say, you know, get into it more than we need to. Um, but the fact there's no flare guns on the map is pretty horrible too. You're very, very limited in what you can do. Speaking of being limited, all this stuff kind of goes hand in hand. Is vehicles. The fact that there are no vehicles, like literally none. And because there's no flares, you can't call in a BRDM. So this limits you on things like rotations and something like the very middle of the map. It's very open. You know, you're, it's surrounded by peaks. That's often where the final zones tend to be uh, from a lot of the play testing I've been doing on it. Uh, the rotations, you're really, I mean, it's very, very tough. Again, it's RNG. You know, do you have that hilltop and will you keep that? You know, will you stay in the circles? What it comes down to, uh, because you, you can't even try to give yourself an advantage like you can on other maps where there are vehicles on, you know, available to drive. Um, and also things like knocks. Another thing that's very difficult, you know, if you spray somebody proned out, you know, with a 3X or a 2X uh, and you knock them, you're kind of like, you know, can we get this push? And often when you try to get a push to try to push your knock, um, pretty much 10 times out of 10, they can get the res in time. You know, you can't apply the pressure like you can on other maps. Um, so again, the vehicle situation is going to need to change. Um, I already quickly mentioned it, but the fact that the map is too open, it's, I mean, especially in the middle, uh, it's very plain to see, you, you, know, you pull up the map, all of the compounds are on the edges, and the center has absolutely nothing in it except the tunnels that you know never have scopes in them either. Um, and it's just very, very difficult. Despite the lack of scopes, you will also get third party sometimes fourth or fifth party in these in these situations um just because the middle is so open it's just the rng with the circles it's just it's always working to your disadvantage and people will play this map they'll have a few a couple frustrating games and you know what they do they'll say you know what i'm just going to play a different map and then what happens then is that affects the queue times and you know especially if you're playing squads or playing duos solos eh. 
Uh, but uh, duels and squads, you pretty much expect a match the second you hit start. You, know, you might wait a few seconds and boom, you're in a lobby. But there's not many people out there that are just so eager to play Carrick and they just have to play it. Well, they'll, they'll wait in a queue for a minute or two minutes. It's, it's just not happening. Uh, and that furthermore makes it to where people are playing the map less. Okay, now, how do we fix all these situations? It's very simple. Um, it's very, very simple, okay? Before we round it out. Number, number one, talking about the scopes, the simplest, easiest way to make it fair, they, they don't want to make it too overpowered with the scopes. I get it. But the way to make it at least more fair and more enjoyable for everyone to play on is go ahead and add the 4X scope as a world spawn. Uh, I think that's the fairest, I mean, again, let me know in the comment section if you guys agree, but, you know, the, the, the if they want to limit the scopes, take away the 8X, take away the 6X, but at least allow us the 4X to be picked up as we're looting. Boom, that will fix the scope situation and you'll get more people queuing up in, in Kerrigan. The second one is at least add the buggy and or motorcycles or if they want to add something new you know because the new maps they add they want to you know add a little spice to it that makes it different from all the other maps go ahead and add like a scooter or something you know what i mean and these are you know vehicles that are found in the middle east like it'll go ahead and blend with the theme of the map but at least add a buggy maybe a, a motorcycle a motorbike a bicycle i don't know something to at least make tactical uh, side of things will work things like try, trying to push a knock you know trying to rotate you know doing like a, you know a far flank you can't do it unless you're on foot patrol uh, but yeah that, that'll go ahead and knock out that situation um, this is this I think will be absolutely brilliant no one knows where no one knows where the hell to drop in Kerrigan I mean do you go to the docks do you go to uh, you know do you go up north I forget, I forget the name, you know, uh, Al Habar, you know, whatever it is. No one knows where to go because everything is on the edges. There's, I mean, there's absolutely squat in the middle of the map. I don't see, I mean, you want to make this map insane? What is Sonok famous for? It's famous for boot camp, bro. What is Miramar famous for? Miramar's famous for Picado, right? Picado, uh, San Martin. Hot drops in the center of the map. Erangel, of course, Pachinki, Midstein, Livic, Kerrigan, it's like everyone's throwing up their hands. Like, we don't know where to drop. Add a hot drop in the center of the map. Put a little town in there. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, triple the loot uh, spot. I mean, the loot's decent on the map. But, you know, maybe double or triple the loot. Make people want to drop hot drop centers. So we're going to say, hey, hey, let's go to, you know, Al Jazeera. You know, whatever you want to name the town. I don't see what the issue is with that. I'd make it to where the center isn't so open. You'll get more traffic and rotations out of the center, wherever that hot drop would be, because there's buggies and motorcycles. You know, just, everything just is going to flow. Right now, there's no flow on the map. Um, and this is a huge one, something I totally forgot to mention. Hopefully, you've watched the video till the end. The biggest issue, or not one of the one of the biggest issues with the map, with the map is the fact of how slow the zones are i mean you start yawning you know once there's six or seven people left you know but then you look at the circle and it's freaking ginormous um i mean you want to go to bed like it just takes forever to get through the end of these matches sometimes not all the time but sometimes you know i'm trying to be fair speed up the zones we don't want this map to be a 22 or 23 or 24 minute map. We want it to be very similar to something like Livic, which is highly popular in the game. Uh, you know, go ahead and make it to where, you know, you, you speed it up like, you know, 1.2 times. Um, just make the zones move a little quicker now that you've added vehicles. You know, everything is just going to flow. Right now, everything is kind of clashing. It doesn't really have a place. Nobody wants to play it. But... If Tencent hears me out, okay, if Tencent hears me out and they watch this video like they watch some of them, maybe we'll get some of these changes implemented because, um, again, I understand why they made the map. It's just it's not working. Like the person who designed the map never played the game before. Um, but anyway, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like on your way out if you haven't already, and especially if you agree with any of the points that I made in this video. Very, I mean, it could be a very fun map, but right now, it's not. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, but until the very next one, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.